The 2026 Mikoyan MIG-41 is one of the most talked about next-generation interceptor concepts in modern military aviation, and on our EVN Ride channel, we explore powerful machines that push the limits of speed, altitude, and technology. The MiG-41, often discussed as the spiritual successor to the legendary MIG-31, represents a bold vision of what high-speed air defense could look like in the near future. While much of the aircraft remains officially undisclosed, the idea behind the MIG-41 captures global attention because of its ambition and purpose. At its core, the MiG-41 concept is built around extreme speed and high-altitude performance. Unlike multirole fighters designed for dogfighting and ground attack, the MiG-41 is imagined primarily as a long-range interceptor. Its role would be to protect vast airspace by detecting, tracking, and neutralizing high-speed threats such as stealth aircraft, hypersonic weapons, and long-range bombers. On EVN Ride, we often highlight machines built for specific missions, and the MIG-41 stands out as a specialist designed for dominance at the edge of the atmosphere. In terms of design philosophy, the MiG-41 is believed to move away from traditional fighter layouts. The airframe is expected to prioritize aerodynamic efficiency at extremely high speeds, potentially exceeding Mach 3 and beyond. This kind of performance would place it in a unique category, closer to a near-space interceptor than a conventional fighter jet. Heat resistance, structural strength, and advanced materials would be essential to survive such conditions. On EVN Ride, we respect engineering that dares to challenge physical limits, and the MIG-41 concept does exactly that. The cockpit of the 2026 MIG-41 is expected to reflect a fully digital, next-generation environment. Rather than relying on traditional controls, Pilots would likely interact with advanced touch displays, artificial intelligence assistance, and sensor fusion systems that present a complete picture of the battle space. At extreme speeds and altitudes, decision time is critical, so automation and smart systems would play a major role. On EVN Ride, we always emphasize how technology enhances human capability, and the MIG-41 is imagined as a perfect example of man-machine integration. One of the most intriguing aspects of the MIG-41 discussion is propulsion. To reach and sustain hypersonic or near-hypersonic speeds, the aircraft would require a revolutionary engine design. Advanced turbojet or combined cycle engines are often mentioned in theoretical discussions, allowing efficient operation across a wide range of speeds and altitudes. Such propulsion would not only enable rapid interception but also allow the aircraft to cover massive distances in very short time frames. On EVN Ride, raw power combined with innovation is always a highlight, and the MiG-41's proposed engine technology captures that spirit. Stealth, while not necessarily the primary focus, is still expected to play a role in the MiG-41's design. Instead of traditional stealth shaping meant for subsonic or supersonic fighters, the MiG-41 concept likely balances radar reduction with speed and altitude. At extreme velocities and heights, speed itself becomes a form of survivability. Combined with electronic warfare systems and advanced countermeasures, the MiG-41 would rely on a layered defense strategy rather than pure invisibility. On EVN Ride, we appreciate this different approach to survivability, where performance becomes protection. Weapon systems envisioned for the MIG-41 are equally futuristic. The aircraft is often associated with long-range, high-speed missiles designed to intercept targets far beyond visual range. These could include next-generation air-to-air missiles capable of engaging hypersonic threats. There is also speculation about space-related or near-space interception roles, making the MIG-41 a bridge between air and space defense. On EVN Ride, we focus on platforms that redefine combat roles, and the MIG-41 fits perfectly into that category. Another important aspect is the MIG-41's strategic role. Unlike frontline fighters deployed in large numbers, this aircraft would likely operate as a high-value asset. Its mission would be to respond rapidly to the most serious threats, acting as a shield over critical regions. The ability to launch, climb to extreme altitude, and intercept targets faster than any other aircraft would give it immense strategic value. On EVN Ride, we often talk about presence and deterrence, and the MIG-41 represents both. 
From a pilot's perspective, flying the MIG-41 would be unlike any traditional fighter experience. Extreme speed, high altitude, and advanced automation would demand a new level of training and discipline. The aircraft would likely rely heavily on AI-assisted flight management, allowing the pilot to focus on mission decisions rather than manual control. This evolution reflects the broader future of aviation, where pilots become tactical commanders supported by intelligent systems. On EVN Ride, we see this as the future direction of high-performance aircraft. Cost and complexity are also important factors in understanding the MIG-41 concept. Developing and operating such an advanced interceptor would require significant investment, making it a limited but highly capable platform. However, its ability to counter emerging threats could justify its role within a